Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will start one new topic in your bus studio under G Suite activities that is nothing but uh, Google Sheets. So here in the activities, so once you downloaded the G Suite activities package, so I will show you how you can download the packages. So here once you click on the manage packages, this window will get opened. So inside this click on all packages and search for G suit so here you can see you a path dot G suit dot activities by your path so you'll see a download arrow so just click on it and save it so as I have already downloaded this so that's why it is showing in green color so I'm just closing this so once you complete the installation of this package so come to the activities and search for G suit so here we will get all the available uh, G Suite packages so like uh, App Script, Calendar, Docs, Drive, Gmail and Sheets. So we already completed Docs, Drive and Gmail activities. So now today we are going to start about Google Sheets. So here you can see there are multiple activities available. In the coming lectures we will see about these activities. So before that for working with any of the G Suite activities we should keep all these activity inside one scope that is nothing but the Google application G Suite application scope so for working with this G Suite application scope we need to create the credentials so how we can create the credentials is so here we have one portal called console.cloud.google.com so here we need to first enable the Google Documents or Google Sheets activities from the marketplace. So click on this and go to the marketplace. Now you will get a page like this and search for Sheets. So this you can see Google Sheets API. Just click on it and click on Enable button. So as I have already enabled, so I am getting this as API enabled. So and after this, you need to create the credentials. So for creating the credentials, go to the API and services. So here we have a tab is there called credentials. Click on that. So here, if you click on the create credentials, you will get to know the credentials. Uh, what you need to do. On all this information you can get once you click on the API key or what client ID or service account so I have already created a video about this process so here I have created OAuth ID as well as the API keys so for this video I am using this uh, API key so for so first we'll create one new process with a new sequence so I will name this as create sheet so we'll first begin with creating a sheet in our Google Drive. So all these activities will be performed on the Google Sheet in a Google Drive. So here I have the sequence now with the name as create sheet. And so as I said, we need to use this G Suite application scope. Just pull this into the designer panel. So now we got this. So first we need to create the credentials. We need to provide the credentials. So here I have given the API key. In here in the API key field. So just provide the API key. Now this G Suite application scope is ready. And here first we'll create a new sheet. So if you come to this Google Drive. So I don't have any Google Sheets now. Suppose if you click on new and uh, Google Sheets. And click on the blank spreadsheet. So this will create a spreadsheet which looks like Microsoft Excel sheet but the limitation of the rows and columns is different. So if suppose if you observe in an Excel sheet it contains the limitation of uh, rows are around uh, 110,000. So here it is limited to 1000 whereas the columns are up to Z. So whereas in Excel sheet it is uh, more than Z. And here also we have the tabs we can see in the Excel like uh, the file, edit, insert. So like this. 
so first we'll create one sheet with the help of uipath studio so i'm just closing this one so this is my drive i am going to create one sheet inside this so here we have one activity called create new spreadsheet so this activity we need to drop inside this csuit application scope so by default the sheet name is displayed with this test spreadsheet i am not going to disturb it anymore so and here if you observe the properties panel so this has options like columns and rows so if it is a default sheet means it is displaying with 1000 rows whereas from the uipath studio we need to mention the columns and rows so let's uh, keep it blank and we'll see how uh, the sheet is creating in uh, in the google drive and here in the file url just create one variable so f u r l and here i am creating one more variable in for the spreadsheet id so this spreadsheet id we can use in the remaining activities to perform any operations on a google sheet so here i will keep the name as ss id so this is nothing but the spreadsheet id so let's print these details in the output so for that i am using the right line activity so here for cell print ss id which is nothing but the spreadsheet id and another thing is a few other which is nothing but the link to the google sheet okay so let's run this and we'll check the output response in the output so the execution is started oh seems like an error is missing as an authentication token or oh, i think i have the cement cache so here i have provided the api key i think we need to provide the auth details so let me copy those so some of the activities requires uh, api key some requires client id and the client secret so better uh stick with uh, this auth client id and client server so because most of the cases i have not faced any issues while using these with your path so i'm just updating with auth client id okay let me run this again yep the execution is completed so here you can see the output so first one is nothing but the ss id that is nothing but the sheet id which is created with the name test spreadsheet so here if you open the google drive so let me refresh once okay now you can see a test spreadsheet is created yeah so suppose if you are not providing any details in the rows and columns it is uh, created with the default size of 1000 rows and z till z columns like uh, 26 columns i mean suppose and here we can see the url as well which is generated from the file url here you can see this so the execution completed in 004 seconds so let's update the columns and rows and we'll see the output so this time i am just updating with 10 and rows as 4 and we'll check the output so here i am updating the name of the spreadsheet to test spreadsheet 1 okay let's run this now the execution is started now So meanwhile, I'll open the Google Drive. You can see the execution is completed. So here, my system has generated the Google Sheet in the Google Drive. So here, let me refresh the drive once. So here, I have the Google Sheet with the name as Test Spreadsheet One. So which we have provided here. with the, the name as test spreadsheet 
with the columns as 10 and rows as 4 so let's verify it so here we have columns till a to z and the rows of size 4 so as mentioned it is created the exact same size in the columns and rows and here we got the new file url and spreadsheet id in the output so for verification you can observe the url here so the id which is show highlighted here like 1z cattle ulz 22i l7 like this right so this is the nothing but the google sheet id so with the help of this id you can work on the remaining activities in google sheet with the help of your path studio so that's all for this session in the coming sessions we will see some more activities related to the google sheets on how we can use in your path studio i hope you like this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe and if you have any questions please comment in the comment session thank you